This is what unlimited mushrooms looks like. Here we're harvesting a field of wheat so that we can make some wheat grain spawn and grow some mushrooms. The combine fills up the grain cart and the grain cart fills up the semi truck. And that cool dude right there is my brother John and he's making sure that the truck's filled up evenly. Now that we got the wheat grain ready, we had to go out and harvest some wild oyster mushrooms and clone it by taking a piece of the tissue from the middle and putting it on an agar plate. Now we're going to make the grain spawn by using the no soak, no simmer method. I weigh up 200 grams of wheat grain per jar. Then I add 90 to 100 milliliters of water to each of the jars. 90 milliliters of water works fine for me, but if you want your grain more hydrated, go with 100 milliliters. Then I just add some modified lids, which are just regular lids with a hole in it covered with a filter. Pressure cook at 15 PSI for 90 minutes. Continuously shake the jar until it cools down. My friend Rhizofunga sent me this awesome sterilizer, so I'm using it to sterilize the scalpel. I add wedges from the white oyster agar plate to the grain and then that'll grow for about one week and then I dump that into some sterilized sawdust. I seal the bag and then let it grow for about two weeks. The mushrooms started growing in the bag so I just removed the top. I left the block alone while I went camping for four days and came back to these white oyster mushrooms.